This is the machine shop. In this room, in small class sizes, we limit to six tables. Uh, these tables were actually manufactured by students in the program. They're built with 80-20, which is basically the fundamental building blocks in automation today. This is a Prototrack conversational lathe. It's a hybrid machine tool that is both CNC and manual. Uh, and this is great for small batch prototyping uh, in industry today. In our program, we have a basic machining class and a CAD CAM class. Our basic machining class, you make an engine that looks like this. And really we focus on fit, form, and function, understanding how to make accurate tolerances and to really be safe in the lab. This is the computer-aided design room. Uh, in here we learn SOLIDWORKS uh, and the students can get an industrial certification in computer-aided design. This is a CAD workstation with two monitors. Uh, the students will use SOLIDWORKS to design open-ended projects like this. In the CAD lab, we have 12 3D printers where students can make their designs come alive. Uh, things like this that can be printed on our low-cost printers or items like this that are very precise, uh, and this is a helical gear. This is the robotics room. In here, they learn all about robotics, system integration, CNC machines, and basically systems in general. There's a lot of industrial robots in here, and sometimes that might look intimidating, but it's really not. This was a senior project, a capstone senior project uh, for a couple of our seniors. It is a collaborative robot. This whole table and the, the game that you see here was designed by my students as their senior project. This project will find the objects on the light table, pick, the, pick up the tray, put it down, stack the blocks that are the same color, and then stack another tray on top of that and put those objects in that color. This lab actually has all the same robots that you would see in industry today, whether it be Fanuc arms or collaborative robots like the UR behind me. Uh, and that's, these, it's an industrial lab. This is a low-cost mechatronics trainer. Uh, it is designed to be a complete system that the students can build and program uh, and touch every, every facet of an automation system. This is our 100-watt laser. Uh, it is one of our best toys in the lab. Uh, we do a lot of projects on here. It can cut wood, it can cut acrylic, uh, and it can really make students' designs come to life. In the robotics lab, we teach automation technicians. Uh, behind me, you see our automated manufacturing cell. Uh, in this lab, we have 14 industrial robots uh, to reinforce the skills that are needed in today's industry. This is our material testing lab. This is where we get to break stuff. Students learn strength of materials, uh, how, how strong things are, their tensile strength, their hardness, their ductility. It's very important for our technicians to know this. These samples right here show the difference between aluminum, stainless steel, low carbon steel, carbon fiber. And you can see how this machine stretched them and how much they stretch when they broke. In this room, this is our fundamental of electronics room. We study Arduinos, we study circuit boards, everything that you'd see in an AC-DC circuit, as well as the tools to measure them, like an oscilloscope or a multimeter. Again, more skills needed by today's industry. This is a custom PLC trainer. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. And if you think of a street light, that is a PLC. Not everything goes at the same time. There's timers, there's counters, there's inputs, there's outputs. Uh, and that's the, essentially how manufacturing runs in industry today. Um, students with these trainers start with a bare board, uh, wire in all the sensors, understand relay logic, and then eventually mount, a P mount wire, and program a PLC as part of our coursework here. This is our industrial PLC controller. It's an Allen Bradley Compact Logic uh, with an HMI. And this is one of the most sought after skills in industry today. This is the heartbeat of automation. PLC programming is a higher level training that is very, very much in demand in New Hampshire and the country. Uh, a lot of people know how to do the electrical side. A lot of people know how to do uh, the mechanical side, but a lot of people don't understand all the logic the sensors, the wiring, and the programming that ties all this together, making it a true mechatronic system. 
We hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, we have an amazing program here at MCC. Uh, my contact information with my email and my phone are on the screen right now. We look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, please contact me.